three mile power loop. <laughs> We're gonna make Paul do a power loop from three miles away. I don't know if something like this has ever been done. Definitely don't think something <laughs> like this has ever been done with the DJI FPV drone. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, here at Rotor Riot, we fly high performance FPV drones that are capable of some incredible things. They can fly long distances, they can do high speed acrobatics, it's crazy. And recently, DJI came out with their FPV drone. It's getting a lot of new people into the hobby, which is awesome. A lot of people that have been flying FPV for a while kind of question, you know, how good is this thing? I mean, it's made out of plastic. You know, can you do some real serious operations? The battery life is superb. The distance that it can go with good video is incredible. I think it's the perfect tool to get this job done. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Paul and Jeff are gonna load up and drive to the other side of the lake, all the way over there. I don't even know if you guys can see, <laughs> all the way over there. Bubby is gonna stay here and he's gonna set up an obstacle for Paul to power loop. Sean and I, we're gonna get in the boat and head across the lake, rendezvous with Jeff and Paul and begin the mission to fly over the lake to come here to do the power loop. They're gonna chase the drone in the boat so that we always have a visual line of sight on the drone no matter what. Yeah, that's the thing about flying. Technically, you need to always have someone able to see the drone line of sight. To get that information back to us on the ground, we're gonna be on a conference call with all of us. So it'll be us on our side, Bubby on his side, and then Drew and Sean on the boat, and we'll all be in communication. Let's draw this out, okay. We're gonna be representing this lake by this circle that is filled in with some lines. Paul and I think Jeff are gonna be standing here at point A. Drew and Sean are gonna be on a boat and it's going to go all the way across this lake. Paul is gonna power loop. Gonna be epic. There's something there to power and loop. And basically the distance across the lake is three miles. Thanks for drawing that uh, treasure map for us. So we're set up at the launch point. We're waiting for the boat to come from the dock, but honestly, I'm kind of just like looking out over the horizon, waiting for like that kind of like dark plume of smoke. That means that their boat has totally fried itself. <laughs> Genuinely not expecting them to get here. That's not a problem. That's a, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's on E for excellent. Extra full. Extra full. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about being way out here on this boat. Why? What's gonna happen? I mean, at least we got one thing going for us. The wind is blowing that way. So if we do get stuck, we're Why stranded. Why we get stuck? If, if the boat decides it doesn't want to run anymore. Why would that happen? Ripped rudders, dented props. Every time we do anything that has to do with a boat, we get a lesson in uh, Morrison mechanicry. <laughs> so did the, uh, did the impeller hold up all right? Can we follow you? I'm gonna, fo I'll follow you. Okay, he's gonna follow us. But we need to make sure we go straight there, Sean. I will also have to kind of uh, set the pace a little bit too, so I may tell you to go faster or slower, because I gotta make sure that we're not overflying our battery. Very right? smart, Ve very well thought out. All right, watching the drone. It's going down, it's going down, oh my god! Locking this in on 10 meters per second. Okay, he's approaching. I have visual line of sight on the drone. I'm going 10 meters a second, it's locked in. Wait, hold on. Max flight distance reached. Oh no, there's a goggle thing. Pause, park it. Go into the goggle, see if you can turn that off. I got it set to the max. Shoot. We're good now, we're good now, we're good now. Okay, he's coming. He had the, he had the flight limit on. Oh no. All right, he's on us, keep going. <laughs> On the way out to the destination where I'm going to do the power loop, I decided to use sport mode. And in sport mode, I'm able to turn on the cruise control and let the drone just move forward at a certain attitude, meaning it's going to just keep going that direction at that speed until I tell it otherwise. Once I arrive at the destination, I can then switch over to manual mode, which is what's going to allow me to do the power loops and do all of the kind of traditional FPV sort of thing. So I'm just, I've got it set in the cruise control mode watching the height, watching the distance, and at this point I can just let it go. It's a good thing we have the drone as a compass because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> you guys can get in front of me if you want. We're trying, we're going as fast as we can. This boat's kind of falling apart. It just sounds like they're dying. <laughs> I think it'll get done. I think Paul will successfully power loop the thing. But I, what I hope is that he doesn't just power loop it and then not go back through the gate. It's like People sometimes forget that a power loop, you gotta finish the whole thing. 
Look at the angle at which we're flying at. Oh, like, flying. yeah, that's just like, that's just straight and level. Like, literally not doing anything on the controls. And it's just like, ugh. We're now at the point where the drone wants us to return to home. We're basically at what is like the halfway point of the battery. You just gotta ignore all those warning messages. All right, that's it's what I'm like, doing. You gotta go home. Paul's like, no, I know what I'm doing. I ain't going home. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. Okay, we have to slow down, Paul. We're entering the no-wake zone. Okay, I'm gonna keep going without you. Bobby, am I going to the right of the dock or the left of the dock? The left of the dock. And I will be standing on a bench, waving my hands so you can see me. I'm starting to finally get some trouble with video. It's not unflyable, but it's less comfortable for sure. Eight minute flight. We are now 5,200 meters from home. Okay, I see the tent now. Oh, I see the drone, I see the drone, I see the drone. <laughs> Paul, do you see me? Do you see me? Do you see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. waving. I'm gonna get down from here because I'm scared. I hereby pass my spotter duties to you, Bubby. Cool. I am now the, I have the duties of the spotter. So Paul, you see this, you see this thing right here? You see yep. the tent? Okay, yep. how is that now? How is it? You do? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Switching to manual mode. Right. Okay, I'm full manual mode now. Manual mode. Here we go. Oh. Holy. Oh, I missed it. Oh. I gotta go again. I panicked. I panicked. He did it! He did it! He did it! Look, he's going away now. He's going back three miles over the lake. Right? Oh, that's okay. Cool. I only have 37% left. Drew, I hereby give you the duty of watching the drone. Okay, I've got visual of the drone. It's on me now. He's coming back. We're going home. We did it! Yeah! Three miles of power loop. It's at 35%. We just hit a power loop three miles away. I had such bad video, it's not even funny. Dude, he got dangerously close to that tree. He hit the tree. It's okay, Paul's a pretty epic pilot, so he got it. Okay, so we are now 4,500 meters out. It's, uh, we'd successfully did the power loop, but we only have 23% battery life remaining. With 4,000 meters to go. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make it, so I think we're gonna have to go to the contingency plan of landing the drone inside of the boat. Drew, are you guys able to catch me? Okay, yeah, we can catch it if you need us to. Okay, so I'm gonna go until I get the 8%. That should give me enough time to do it. But I wanna get as close to home as I can. Okay, I'm slowing down, because I don't think we're gonna make it. Absolute chaos. He's at 10%. 10%. We're getting close. I think you might be able to make it, man. You might no, be able to No, no way. No way? No way? Fail? Wait, it says battery too low landing. You gotta get over okay, here right stop, now. Stop, stop. He's coming in. He's gonna come in hot. Oh no. <laughs> it's not letting him. <laughs> oh no. It won't let me take no. back over. Oh, it won't let, it won't let me take back over. over. This is gonna be a crash oh, landing. <laughs> be aware. Crash landing. Crash landing. No. Come on. No. Slow, stop the boat. I didn't come on. Come on. Bring come on. it in right here. Come on. Bring it in. Right here. I'm trying, it won't go. Get a little closer. Get a little closer now. Right there. Right there. Come on, come on, go. You can make it. A little more. Just a little more. No. Oh, oh my oh god. god. <laughs> Just smack it out of the air. Smack it out of the air. Yeah. Woo. Did you get it? I got it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Why didn't you dump it in the boat? You could have just like, like, couldn't you just disarm it and let it plop? Well, so, so my plan was to get to 8%, switch it into manual mode, and then just come in and land, right? Okay. But as soon as I got to like 9%, it said, Battery low, we're landing now. And I'm like, <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, uh, no, I'm like, no. I'm like, yeah, 40 meters in the air, I was like 100 feet. And I'm like, 
Ah, uh, and it starts going down. I'm like, guys, we're going now. So wait, were you full throttle? I was, I like, I was holding the controller, like cranking it, like I was pushing it so hard, I thought I was gonna break the sticks. Cause I'm like, <laughs> get on the floor! But it was still just going down. So you're, it was still you're just dropping. Altitude oh sticks all so, the way up, and it's just yeah, like yeah. coming down. So like when oh when God. you're like si when you're sitting there, like just bring it over the boat, just bring it over. The boat. I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> and, 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 I'm like sitting there, like pushing it as hard as I can. I think the I think the uh, the sensors were preventing me from going over the boat. Oh my God. Eventually, it oh let me God. go, and it just overshot. I'm like, no. <laughs> It's going in the water! But then like magically like somehow my extra strength on the controller sink brought it back up. And I brought it back over. I'm like, just hit it out of the air! And you just came back and slam, <laughs> slam dunked it. I'm so oh, happy we got it back. See, like, that is like, one I, disadvantage, okay? A regular drone, you would not have been cut off like that. Right. But I don't know if you could have flown a regular drone that far, and uh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. If it wasn't this windy, I think we actually might have been off a little a little better off, but. No, wait, how was your video when you were over here, though? Uh, so, when I went for the power loop, like, it's like on my way into the power loop, it was great. As soon as I got, like, just a little bit low, Pretty much no video. Really? Backflip, it was pretty good. And then as soon as I started getting low again, pretty much no video. But yeah. it's okay so, like, because we had we had yeah. a spotter. visual observer spotter. Yeah. Latency yeah. was good. I, it was it was the same as if I was standing right there with it. Really? Like, so there was no additional latency being three could, miles away. Not that I could notice. Uh, That's pretty good. Cool. That had to have been. Not that I <laughs> noticed. I guess, how would you know? Not that I noticed compared to video and my level of anxiety. <laughs> <laughs>